Jesus' suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested, and falsely sentenced to death, but Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to Him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way, sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with His blood He shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to His cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And His blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. Jason Blood Church coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. Going to do a quick video. Hope you find it to be a blessing. I took a look at 11, 11 verses in the Bible from Genesis through John. And, the, and then I went and I'll do another uh, picture up here of Acts through Revelation to show what I think tells an interesting story. Now, I'm not saying this is all in order. But it tells a story, I think, of the people of Israel and the redemption of them. And I'm, I'm going to flash the verses up as I talk about it to make this video quicker. If you're not saved, get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's in the beginning of this video. So Genesis 11:11 11, is the first spot. We got Shem being mentioned. Shem is actually um, one of Noah's sons. He becomes the descendant of Jesus Christ and the Jews. And the very next um, Leviticus, we have the law, and we uh, of, of Leviticus 11, 11, you see the law. The Jews had to keep the law. The Lord was angry with Israel, and the next 11, 11 verse, and then it mentions Israel with the land, and then it mentions conquest with Canaan, and then Israel is at war, and then the Amor Amorites are defeated. Then mentions King Solomon being removed. Now we know King Solomon came after David, but you can see there's some there's some order differences. Joash is anointed king. And then you get King David's mighty men. Of course, these are the Lord's mighty men. You know, everyone you know, gets their might from the Lord, amen. And, and Israel was blessed by them in war. And King David's mighty men. And then after that, you have the leaders of Israel mentioned. And then you have evil, vain men being mentioned by the Lord that you know they they are wicked in their wickedness jerusalem because of their wickedness because of israel's wickedness and not following following the lord's law they jerusalem was overthrown and then it mentions in that day the second advent this is isaiah eleven eleven. the remnant will be recovered so again this could be jumping ahead here to the second coming in that day i think is a reference to you know if i to here to to the second coming but it, you know it, historically you know, they did have two temples. The first one was the story of the second, so it could be remnant was recovered for that. So broken covenant, again, Israel fails. Man has always failed God's agreements. It's not the other way around. God's perfect to so the broken covenant. that Israel had the judgment against Jerusalem and Israel. A lot of people hate the Jews, but the Jews have been harshly judged by God whenever they break covenants with God and don't follow the law. So we see judgment against Jerusalem. 
And then the next verse I think is very interesting. Could be mentioning the Antichrist, and um, I, you know, it's the King of the North is known as the Antichrist, and I believe that this is in Daniel eleven eleven. And Lord loves Israel. Of course, we know that. Uh, even though they have done all the things, He's always loved them. This is God the Father's um, people, the bride of God the Father, where Jesus is, you know, our our bridegroom. Um, flock is slaughtered. Uh, is you know Israel was 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 again slaughtered. We saw that in you know in early seventy A.D. But this could be reference to them being slaughtered um, earlier. Uh, the messengers, two witnesses. Now, now we get into we get into Matthew, and we see the messengers show up. The two witnesses are here, and they will be here during the tribulation. They're not here now, but they are um, the two witnesses that will come: Moses and Elijah. And then Jesus's triumphal entry into Jerusalem. That's the second coming. That's in that day, the day of the Lord. It's another term for it. And then the Lord shall provide like a father will for his son. Amen. And the rapture of the tribulation saints is mentioned at the very end of John, John 11, 11. The rapture, of the, now again, this is not in order. I believe that this would, this would happen here before this will, this will happen. So, you know, this would probably be before it. But you know, everything is in the timeline that we think it should be when we see this. But this is interesting. There'll be a second part to this video that I will put up as well from Acts 11:11 11, 11, after the death of Jesus Christ the testator till the end of Revelation it also tells an interesting story which which be more relevant to the church age as well god bless i hope this video was was great and stay tuned to the second part and subscribe and thumbs up